So how do you actually get this? If the length has to be equal to n times delta L, right? What's the total length of the circle? 2 pi r. How do I place a delta L, meaning the, a little slice of circumference, a little arc length, in terms of theta? See how many people remember what the definition of a radian is. So in other words, I want to put this in terms of delta theta, a little slice of angle. How does the length relate to the little slice of angle? How do we define that angle? Delta theta is equal to delta L over, not 2 pi, over, well, not delta R, but just the, just the radius R. That's what a radian is. It's that little length divided by the, uh, the radius, okay? So delta L would be R times de delta theta. Plug that in and you get 2 pi r is equal to n times r times delta theta, but it's also q is equal to n times delta q. So I take the ratio here, I get delta q over r delta theta is equal to 2 pi r, or, uh, excuse me, q over 2 pi r. q over 2 pi r. Radius cancels out on both sides, and so we can say delta Q is equal to Q over 2 pi times delta theta, okay? All right, real quick, let's plug this all in and see what we get. We have delta E sub Z is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, Z times Q over 2 pi times delta theta, just sub making that substitution, over R squared plus Z squared to the three halves, okay? We want to sum this up. We want to turn this from into infinitesimals and do an integral. An integral from where to where? From, from what? 0 to 2 pi, right? We're summing up over the entire circle, so 0 to 2 pi radians. Well, let's look at this expression. The only thing that's changing is theta. Is z a constant? Yeah, that comes out. Is q constant? Yep. Is 2 pi a constant? Yeah, obviously. Is r a constant? Yeah, the, the radius isn't changing. Is z a constant? Yeah, everything in here is a constant. So this all comes out of the integral. And so this becomes z times q over 2 pi over r squared plus z squared to the 3 halves. Integral from 0 to 2 pi of d theta, and if I do that integral, what do I just get? 2 pi, 2 pi. So the 2 pi cancels out, and we get for our result, the electric field of a uniformly charged ring is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, q times z over the square root of r squared plus z squared to the 3 halves, okay? Real quick. What, how could we check it? Where do you know a result? What's, it gotta, what's the electric field have to be at the center? Why? Yeah, all the, all the fields would cancel out, right? They'd all be pointing in opposite directions. If I plug in z equals 0 into this expression, what do I get? I get 0. Okay, so it seems to work. Okay? 